This is never going to end. And why should it? Because you can grift people, you can make money off of it, you can tell people what they can and can't do, you can take money from this organization, you can take money from that organization, this government agency, that government agency, and you can consolidate. And if you're a real tyrant, this is freaking boom times for you. The move variant of the COOF detected in every state except Nebraska. I guess it doesn't like Nebraska, the Cornhuskers, or whatever the hell they are. So, the COOF-19 cases due to the Mu variant have worried doctors in cities such as Houston and Los Angeles, even in as infectious disease experts maintain the strain will not overtake Delta's violence and high transmission rate. Well, I mean, we should believe them now that since these health experts have been wrong a lot, so we should just take them for the word, right? I don't. Because they talked about the Lambda, they talked about the what is the other one? The Omega, the Sigma variant, or whatever the hell it is. There's all these variants out there. And of course, that's what these types of viruses do. They mutate. And they're going to continue to mutate. Regardless of whether people get jabbed or not, it's, it's no, no consequence. Look at the flu virus. The influenza. Every year it changes. And every year it changes in different parts of the world. That's why, let's say, the North American variant will be... Uh, flu virus A. European will be flu virus B2A. Africa will be 3C. You get my point. It's going to change everywhere. And then those different variants might be higher in, say, the 3C variant will be higher in North, North America. The 2B will be in Central America. It's just, that's just how viruses work. And how we're going about this, in my opinion, of course, I'm not a medical doctor. You get what my point here. My point is, is that how we go about living life now with this is you're going to see stories like this and people are going to get ramped up and people are going to get scared and they're going to be out there Lysoling the freaking air in front of you. They're going to be out there wearing triple 45, 86 masks on your freaking face. It's just not going to end. And again, I've laid out a, a claim that these authoritarian types in our government who weren't elected, they're just bureaucrats. They like this. They, they, they can... They can basically put more control on you. And that's what they want. No, no, it's not a public safety. Yeah, right. To date, the Mu has been detected in D.C. and every state except Nebraska. California has recorded the most Mu variants samples so far with 399 of almost 142,000 total genetically sequenced infection samples. Florida has reported the second highest number of 305, roughly 0.5% of the total COOF infectious genetically mapped out in the state for now though the delta variant is a greater threat i would just say the whole virus in general is a threat you could say as much as you could say the flu virus is a threat or you could say mumps and measles that's a that could be a threat as well depending on what part of the world you live in but apparently you know we're in a pandemic and i get it but again are we going to live life by, oh no, the Sigma Delta 2 is out. Oh, shh, nine no goodies. Then what? It's going to, you know, go go from, you know, each variant to each variant and, you know, run around with their head on fire every single time they, they, they catch a new variant. This is just going to happen. And how you deal with it shows me a lot about you. For instance, how I deal with it, I just live my life. Have I been jabbed? Absolutely. Would I recommend it? Nope. Nor, therefore, you need to consult your doctor. I am not going to recommend it. I'm not going to tell you to get it or not to get it. That is not that is not my job. I am not a medical doctor. Find your own way. Do your own research. Find a doctor that you trust. If you don't trust him, find another one. I am not that guy. Don't come. Don't be coming here to YouTube and any other morons out there, me included to get your information about whether you should do something or not. I am not you. You're, you are you. Figure it out yourself. And, of course, I have to say that because YouTube and Susan, you know, you want to do it. You want to you want to get rid of people like me. You do. So I have to say this crap. I have to go out of my way, spend a minute talking about that and put a qualifier in there so YouTube doesn't get all pissy pants. And, of course, they do. So what Delta has done 
and why it has superseded all of the variants is because it really hasn't acquired this ability to be so transmissible. I understand people definitely are worrying about the move variant. No, because this is the first I've heard about it. <laughs> We're looking at it, but this, it is just epidemiologically, uh, hasn't managed to replace Delta in terms of transmissibility. An infectious disease specialist at the University of California, San Francisco, told Washington Examiner. Again, what are they telling you? It says, hey, you know, don't worry about it, but we're telling you about it, so you should be concerned about it. But no, don't be too concerned. Too late. People out there like to get to concern, when, when especially some healthcare professional, you know, authority tells you about it. Then, of course, you got to freak the fuck out. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, apparently, in this world. Um, So, Gandhi, I guess not the old Gandhi, says, uh, so the coronavirus is expected to mutate into more transmissible strains. Again, already talked about that, but it will not so not do so indefinitely. Again, these medic, these healthcare professionals have been wrong in the past. Are they wrong here? Perhaps. And let me continue. That's because more and more people will get Im some immunity through either the vaccine or from previous infection. There you go, which we've all been talked about. Do you get it, or you don't? You get it since if you've already received the virus. Again, consult your doctor. Not my not my deal. Additionally, the evolutionary biology biology of viruses does not allow for f every mutation to become more dangerous than the last. Exactly. Um, case in point, the flu virus. I can just for, use the example in my life. When I've had received the flu vaccine, um, I've gotten sick from it. Now, they don't know what you're going to tell you. Yo, you didn't get it. You didn't get sick from the virus. Well, I got sick. Something happened. And I got sick. I'm not saying that happened all the time, but a few times in my past, in my life, I've received the flu vaccine, and I got sick. That's just the way it goes. I, you know, maybe it was, maybe I got the, the flu from somebody in the doctor's office that came in for medical treatment. Perhaps, the point is, is that viruses do mutate. And yes, what this guy says is correct. With the other epidemiologists state that viruses, they sort of peter out, but they still have some sort of effectiveness. Transmissible, transmiss transmissity, whatever. You get my point. That the flu virus, even today, the, the starting off from the strain in like 1917, you can still get it. You can get it from whatever, airborne, touching. That's why I say wash your hands, you filthy animal. Um, still, hospitals and hot spot states have recently reported an uptick in mu variant cases. Houston Methodist Hospital in Texas, one of the nation's first health systems to impose a coronavirus vaccine mandate resulting in resignation or termination of over 150 staff, has reported more than 50 confirmed Mu variant cases dating back to May. But Dr. Wesley Long, medical director of diagnostic and microbiology, Houston Methodist, and clinical pathologist stressed that Delta is still enemy variant number one. Right. I mean, it is. That's just what it is. And did you know, um, just kind of closing on this, that they don't only talk about the... the the, basically the Delta. But there's also been the Alpha, then the Beta, then whatever. Once it got to Delta, I don't know the Greek alphabet, so you have to excuse me there a little bit, but there's a bunch of more variants other than I can discuss. There's the Lambda. There may even be the Sigma. I don't know. But the point is, is that how do we, as a society, continue on when you have news organizations or big tech tell you, freak the fuck out! It's like, no, how about we just chill back for a second? You know, let's use some composite risk management. Wash your hands. Ah, oh, stay six feet apart, as has already been stated. Does it work? Who knows? Does it help? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a medical doctor. Um, as, of, as of right now, I haven't gotten it yet. Um, what could that be? I don't know. Maybe I haven't been around somebody who's been it. But I've been, a, I've been around a lot of people. Ever since I got back to the United States back in December, I've been around tons of people, but I haven't been sick. Does that mean it doesn't exist? Absolutely not. Of course it exists because there are people getting sick every day. Now, I know some of you out there who are probably on bitch you and who are um, Odyssey, and those are two different demographics who watch these videos. Some of you out there, you guys are, some of you guys out there are weird. I get it, but hey, we live in a weird society more power to you. You know, I don't fault somebody for getting the vaccine. I don't, don't 
praise him for getting it. That's your decision. Just like uh, you go to a restaurant and you order a hamburger instead of chicken nuggets. Obviously, hamburger's better than chicken nuggets, but hey, that was your choice. And how, and let's look forward going on. H how are we supposed to tackle this? I suggest that we go on and live our lives, but also let's take, take a step back and use a little risk management. That's easy. You, you, you address your concerns and the dangers and the cautions out there in society. Whether you go into a crowded theater with no mask on or you go on one with a mask on, that's risk management. It's your choice. And I think what's left, what's left on the table here or what's left out a lot of this is that we're allowing big government, big tech, and big medical to determine how we live our life. And basically, we shouldn't let them do that because once you give them that power, I guarantee goddamn it, they will never give it back.